What's up guys, it's OAfilly215 here, and today we're going to go over what's new in Sony Vegas Pro 13. Okay guys, so right off the bat, um, I have Sony Vegas Pro 12 open right now. So this is, you know, this is my basic look. This is, you know, I don't have a trimmer in here, I don't have a, a master bus going on. I, I just have a nice clean look to my, my Sony Vegas. Um, and I've... I've, uh, as you notice here, this is Sony Vegas Pro 13, and it looks extremely the same. Now, there are some things different, but obviously, I've uh, adjusted it and tweaked it, and I took out the master bus and uh, the trimmer as well. So, I mean, in comparison, it looks extremely the same, but uh, one thing you'll notice different is, uh, by default, the audio track to your video is uh, pretty much both tracks are combined into one which um, in the second one obviously it's not like that but uh, I like it because at no point in time when I'm ever editing a video do I just uh, you know lower the volume on one track and not the other you know it's it, it's a good feature because at no point I mean I could see people who do that you know who are really uh, good at uh, audio editing and, and stuff like that. I could see a reason for that, but f by default, I think majority of people don't do that. So I like the new adjustment uh, by default that it's like that. Um, the other thing you'll notice uh, that I noticed, I immediately went into like video effects and stuff. And um, well, actually, before we look into that, uh, I'll open up... Um, Sony Vegas's uh, page and they have a comparison chart and we'll look at that okay guys we're on the uh, Sony creative software.com which is a uh, Sony Vegas pros website and um, once you go into this comparison chart it kinda gives you an idea of what you're getting for your program so I really wanted Vegas Pro 13 suite I really wanted that or not suite suit sorry um, I really wanted that and all the way up until the end of May you can get it for $300 if you already own Sony Vegas um, but I, I just didn't have the money so I got a uh, just regular so, uh, Sony Vegas Pro 13 the one in the middle here and um, in this comparison chart uh, obviously it comes with DVD architect but I don't really use that um, it also comes with new blue and uh, isotope uh, plugins which is nice and uh, that's something we're gonna see here in just a moment but along with that uh, if you come down here it also has another comparison chart with uh, Sony Vegas Pro 13 edit and regular Sony Vegas Pro and uh, like differences and stuff like that and the only thing that I noticed is uh, right I'm trying to find it it's down here where is it hold on there was one difference. It comes with uh, surround sound, I believe, and that's that's the only difference. I'm trying to find it here. Here it is. So right here, it comes with uh, the the version I have, Pro 13 Regular Edition, uh, comes with a uh, Dolby 5.1 surround and stereo uh, A3 encoding, which is nice. That's a nice feature. That's definitely something you'd want. Um, but yeah, that's just off the default. It seems like the only difference would be uh, plugins, really. But plugins go a long way, and there's obviously, uh, you know, I'm sure a bunch of bug fixes. Like uh, Sony Vegas Pro 12 would always, you know, if I would open it and try and import something, or even if I didn't try and import something, it would crash. Um, I think it was just a bug. I think they tried to fix it multiple times, but it just wasn't working out. But it seems like the new one is very nice and. Uh, smooth here so um right off the bat if we go into pro 12 uh and we go into uh let's see here let's go to video effects all right so scrolling down here um it's all well now in pro 12 i mean i guess this wouldn't be a good comparison because uh uh it added in all the plugins and stuff but regular pro 12 it doesn't have the new blue and it uh it doesn't have the other guy. Where's the other guy here? The Isotope plugins. Um, I believe that's for maybe transitions. 
It's in here somewhere. I think it's a uh, media generators actually. Where is it? It is. Hold up. We'll find it in Pro 13 here. Uh, media generators. Here it is. Um, I well, this is part of it, I believe. But uh, you also get uh, light flares, which is something very big. Something that I've definitely wanted uh, for a long time. For the longest time, um, I've had to you know, go on the internet and, and, uh, you know, Photoshop and stuff and try and make these light flares. And I've had to download plugin packs and all this, all this stuff. But thankfully now there is, um, you know, a plugin for that, which hold up. I'm trying to see. So right here, this is awesome. It, anybody that uses Sony Vegas pro 12 at some point or another, trying to do a montage or something like that, um, you know, you're going to want a, a, a sun flare. And um, this is an awesome plugin that comes with it. Uh, as you can see, you know, you get up the intensity, um, you know, the scale. And it's really nice. I, I'm definitely liking this. Um, along with, uh, let's see, the video effects here, the new ones. Hit film right here. Uh, you know, they, they got a couple here that are, are real nice. Um, so, uh, right off the bat, you know, the, uh, the audio for videos is all in one track. Both tracks are combined into one. Um, new plugins, which are definitely nice. A big, the sun flare is big. Um, that's a big thing. Along with these other plugins, they're just nice. You know, when, when you're in an editing software, you want the most out of it. You want to get all the plugins in the world you don't want to have to pay extra money which even though you have to pay extra money for the upgrade it's just worth it you know YouTube or at least for me is is a business um, I try and run it like one I don't like to treat it like a business uh, in a sense you know I love doing it I don't want to treat it like a job but in a sense it is a business it's something I take uh, pride in and I want to get the most out of it so uh, you know, the fact that now I have more plugins to work with and stuff like that is a nice feature. And the other thing off the uh, off the top here is when you go to uh, render, you know, render your video, um, it has a really nice preset. Um, uh, when I suggest or when I click uh, show favorites only, it doesn't import your uh, settings from Sony Vegas Pro 12 which does seem kind of like a downfall but the preset right here or it seems like for me at least right here uh, this seems really nice now obviously I just downloaded this today so uh, you know I'm sure there will be better uh, render qualities and videos like that to come but right here this seems like it's the preset and when you open up a custom template Everything looks nice. Format HD, uh, 1280 by 720, 5.9, you know, frame rate, which was the same for the other. Aspect ratio is great. You know, it automatically goes to high video quality. Um, the bit rate is nice. I mean, you know, what more could you really ask for? I mean, audio is normal. It just, it's just ready to go. Ready to go right there. Um, yeah. I like it guys I like this transition I mean I haven't really fooled around in it much like I haven't made any new videos in Sony Vegas Pro 13 yet but I mean I would assume that you know rendering and everything is just a lot smoother it seems sleeker so this is just kinda like in first impressions guys I mean they look more or less the same but um it's always good to upgrade you know you don't know uh, what's to come you know there there might be new features and new things being added and updates so um that's just a first impression guys of, of how Sony Vegas Pro 13 looks um, if you want to see anything more uh, you know leave a comment down below if there's things you have questions of you know things I didn't cover you know leave a comment you know I'll make a new video so um that that's uh, that's it for me guys it's OOPhilly215 uh, leave a like and I hope you enjoyed watching Peace!